getting to be too much. In the city of St. Paul, for some it feels like a matter of when, not if. Absolutely, absolutely. So Thomas Valera at the intersection of Earl and Hudson now keeps a close eye on his grandson, Christopher. I just brought my grandson here to come to the store and he was afraid. He said, Grandpa, we saw this on the news last night. Are we sure we're okay? Saturday night, St. Paul police say they arrived near Earl and Hudson to find a man with a gunshot wound. He later died. St. Paul's 22nd homicide this year and eighth since September 2nd. This, this is just way too close to my home. About an hour before St. Paul's homicide Saturday night, a man was found shot at 8th and Hennepin in Minneapolis. He later died. Police say there was a fight between the victim and the suspect. Curb this before it gets even worse. Jacob Toledo, who owns several restaurants and bars in that area, says he's worried for his business, worried for downtown, with crime in the area up. Minneapolis and St. Paul both have a problem right now. They have a, they have a major problem and there needs to be something done to fix it so that people can come downtown and feel safe. They should have, everyone should have the right to come down and feel safe where they're, where they're going. Hoping these scenes in our neighborhoods come to an end soon. You know, I don't know if I want to stay here anymore or if I want to move on and find somewhere else, but where else can you go?